Talking parenting now, though, it is hard to watch your shy child fumble his way through a speech or stand on the sidelines of a game because she's just too scared to join him. On Mum PD Pro 3 Coffee Group, we are talking about raising confident kids with Charlotte Nightingale and Vanessa Baxter. Good morning to you both. Morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you here. Uh, Charlotte, let's start with you. You teach drama. I do. Do you teach many shy kids? I teach a lot of shy kids. And I think going to a drama class is one of those things that parents often do um, to kind of negate that, to, yeah. to get their kids to, to build confidence. And I think in the right um, drama class, in that safe, supportive environment with a really lovely teacher, it can be really 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 helpful mm. definitely but well, there's not only just the shy kids too there's the, the shy extroverts as well yeah. where they can be really all jazz hands yeah. but still very actually quite shy. yeah and sometimes if they if they're in character they're a, a completely different child to mm. someone who's sort of out in the outside world which is really interesting yeah Vanessa do you think it's possible for kids to overcome their shyness I think in a lot of cases children will just naturally outgrow their shyness but it's definitely uh, possible for a parent or a teacher to help them along the way by just setting some little steps in place for them. So when I'm working with shy children, I try to work alongside them, think of little things to commend them on so that they feel secure and kind of happy in themselves. It starts to build their confidence about being in the room. I also find, you know, not forcing kind of eyeball straight on <laughs> conversation, but working on something hands on that you can discuss. So if it's cooking or baking, uh, you know, you can discuss rolling out the pastry together and try to ask open-ended questions that they can answer in a really safe setting uh, but without having to actually look at you while they're doing that and it just slowly builds their self-confidence yeah what do you think is the most helpful thing that parents can do for their kids Charlotte I think lots of praise lots yeah. of praise and small steps you know um, for example if a child really struggles talking to their teacher um, sort of setting up something where they go into the classroom and they smile at their teacher every day and they get sort of um, uh, satisfaction from that and then that normally can carries on to nodding to the teacher the next week or speaking to the teacher the following week but lots and lots and lots of praise is really really key the praise is important so on the so flip side important. of that one then Vanessa what would be the worst thing that parents can do well we tend child? to like really sympathize and whilst it's okay to empathize with your child you know over sympathy is probably not the best thing to do because that just confirms to the child that it is a scary situation or that they should feel nervous and shy so just sort of being mindfully emp em empathetic I think so you know I can see that you're feeling really nervous mm -hmm. and I can see you're feeling scared and I totally understand that we're coming into school and we've been there before to use the same analogy uh, and just give them that confidence that it's okay to feel nervous in that situation but their whole personality their whole being isn't tick the box you're a shy child mm. and you should feel nervous every single day about something new and you can fall back on that and that can be your excuse I know yeah. too, as, as parents quite often sometimes what we do is we will tell our child in front of other grown-ups look them in the eye yeah, make sure yeah. you smile which is all it's embarrassing them in front of, of in front of yeah, other it, people, just, it makes it worse Really? If you can do it before you get there, yeah. sort of give them the heads up before yeah. you get there. This is the situation we're moving into, you know, and I know it can be scary for yeah. you, but that's where we're heading. Then it gives them time to sort of digest that information. Mm. Yeah. So, Charlotte, what about making friends? What can we tell our shy child about making friends? I think a so being sociable is a skill, and some people really have it naturally, and other other children don't. I mean, I wasn't particularly sociable as a child. Me neither. I think, no, me neither. I think <laughs> being sort of in drama and theatre, often you're kind of exploring those social situations you know um, and we do a lot of stuff about feelings in drama we might move around the space as a feeling or we might you know be the angry person in a restaurant and how does that other person kind of cope with it so I think doing those kind of exploring those social situations in a drama context where it's really safe and really fun and working together as a team and nothing mm. is wrong you know that really helps with that kind of sociability it does Vanessa yeah. what about giving a speech Oh, uh, giving a speech is such a good thing to do, but it can be scary for everybody, adults included. Yeah. So um, one of my ideas for uh, kids when they're doing their speeches for school is, you know, to line up some stuffed animals or if, if you don't have lots of stuffed animals, even some cushions and sort of create a pretend audience, you know, create a pretend microphone with a wooden spoon or something, <laughs> you know, and get them standing in front of it and maybe, you know, practice a few times like once with a quiet voice and once with a loud voice and once with a silly voice and make it fun for them when they're practicing so that it actually diverts their attention away from what they're trying to do then when they go and present to the class they've already done it a few times at home and they they're kind of in a different zone and also the other tip is right. just look above the eye 
Exactly. Don't make eye contact. Exactly. Thank you so much for both joining us today. It's always great. Great advice. Thanks, Vanessa and Charlotte. Now, Coffee Group is brought to you by Anne Mum Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. If you have any worries that you would like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the Cafe Facebook page. Now, one contributor will win this cool ebook from Anne Mum that allows you to record your voice reading the story. Oh, isn't it is the coolest ebook. Uh, congratulations to this week's winner, Nida Fenton. Your ebook is on its way.